Hello. Oh. Hey fam. I know I'm early. Hey guys, how are you? I've got a couple on Instagram over here and then I'm on Facebook over here. It is about 10 to 8. So I've just kind of jumped on to uh, give you all a chance to tune in. If you're there, say hello. I can read the comments. I'm on my computer over here. I haven't done this in so long. The last live video I did was ages ago and I did a live performance video, three or four songs one night. There's a couple of minutes to go, it's 7.54. Hey guys, welcome. I can see a bunch of you popping up. I've just started early. I just wanted to be here at 10 to eight, give people a chance to know that I'm here. This is so weird that it's live. I'm used to being able to edit what I say. What do we have? Oh, 10 of you on Instagram, 14 over on Facebook, 12 on Facebook. You're probably jumping in and going, he's not doing anything, he's not saying anything. It's so weird on the gram, I can only see like usernames. So I don't want to be like, hey, M underscore Sawyer. But I can't see, oh, Juliet's on Facebook. Hey mate, how are ya? All right, few minutes to go, a few minutes to go. Let me get till eight o'clock. Let me get a few more people joined in. If you haven't noticed already, I'm wearing my big D jumper. Um, this is from our Disneyland trip. I don't know if that's backwards for you. If you're tuning in and we haven't met and I don't know you and you're not from Sydney, let me know where you are. Leave a comment. I can see your comments coming through. 13 people live on Facebook, 10 live on Instagram. How exciting. Oh, two questions. Emily, uh, how many cruises have you been on? And can I send you questions here? Yes, you can send me questions. If you wanna ask questions or say hello, just put it in the comment box. Anyway, um, M, your question about how many cruises have I done? Uh, I'm about to do my 10th contract. So I started doing cruises in uh, December last year after doing the show and I'm gonna talk a little bit about this later on but on Friday I'm about to leave for my 10th cruise contract which is absolutely wild uh, it hasn't even been a year yet and I've done 10 cruise contracts for about four different cruise lines which has been amazing um, if anyone has a comment or a question pop it in there I'm gonna make an announcement in about two minutes but until then I'm just gonna vamp I'm just gonna talk. Uh, I don't know if I'm any good at it, but I'm just killing time. Um, the question was about when is my next vlog dropping? I hope you watched just a little bit of the first vlog. Like even if you got a minute into it, then thank you. The next vlog is Amy and I, we went to Daydream Island for a week. I played in the piano bar up there, which was super fun. So we vlogged that and I've just finished editing it this week. Oh, anyone who's on my mailing list has just got the announcement in their email inbox. It's eight o'clock, it's just gone eight o'clock, guys. Fab, fab, fab. I'm so excited to share this with you. This is a big deal for me. I'm super, super excited. Jacob just joined on Facebook, how are you? All right, 801, 801. I reckon we get into it, we get into it. So if you haven't guessed already, this announcement is about Kings of the Keys, uh, which was a show that I premiered in August last year at Anita's Theatre. Thank you so much for supporting it. It was a amazing, amazing night. But I've been working super hard throughout this year. I have been on a bunch of cruise ships performing that show there. I've performed for about 20,000 cruise ship guests in 2019 so far, and I still have about another three contracts to go before the end of the year. It's actually incredible to think that I've performed for that many people this year. So that's what I've been working on. That's what came out of the show show in August. So if you were there, we were filming it. I had a photographer, I had a videographer there. We were shooting a whole bunch of promo material um, and I was able to get a bunch of cruise lines really interested in it. And I've been all around the world. But the big announcement is that I have three Kings of the Keys shows locked in, ready to go for 2020. Yes! Um, okay, so the first one, the first one, we've got two shows in Sydney. So I've got two RSL club shows happening. The first one is on Friday, the 7th of February at DY RSL. So that's the first Kings of the Keys show of 2020. DY RSL, it's a Friday night. If you don't know where DY is, it's on the northern beaches of Sydney. So you basically go to Manly and about 10, 15 minutes further north um, to DY. They have a fantastic RSL club out there with a wonderful, wonderful venue, great stage, great production. It's gonna be fantastic. So that's a Friday night, uh, DY RSL. The dates for this and the other two that I'm about to announce are on the website www.kingsofthekeys.com, Kings of the Keys. 
Um, oh, we've got a couple more people on Facebook. Paul, Sally, Jacob, how are you? Thanks for joining. I've just announced the first Kings of the Keys show of 2020, uh, which is at DYRSL on Friday, the 7th of February. This is with a full band, three-piece horn section, bass, drums, guitar. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's the first one. The second Kings of the Keys show for 2020 is the week after that, which is Saturday night, the 15th of February. So this one's Saturday night, the 15th of February. And this one is at Hornsby RSL. Hornsby RSL is show number two, which I'm stoked about. Um, Hornsby, if you don't know, it's kind of like a northwest suburb of Sydney. Uh, it's pretty well before you get on that massive freeway up to Newcastle. Um, so out in Hornsby, uh, if you don't know where it is, just Google it. But that's the second Sydney show. Second Sydney show is at Hornsby RSL Club on the 15th of February, which is a Saturday night. So we've got DYRSL. Hornsby RSL, um, and I'm so, so, so stoked that these two RSL clubs have jumped on board to support the show. Tickets for both of those sh both of those shows, I was about, to, I blended the words show and sale. Uh, both of those shows are on sale right now. If you go to kingsofthekeys.com, both DY RSL and Hornsby RSL are on sale now. All right, so the third date for 2020, um, which I'm really, really excited and also really, really nervous about at the same time. Guys, I'm coming back to Anita's Theatre. I'm coming back. We're doing it again. I'm coming back to Anita's Theatre in Thrull, which is a little bit north of Wollongong. Um, we're doing that show again, Kings of the Keys, Anita's Theatre in Thrull on Saturday night, the 14th. I'm just going to double check that. Kings of the Keys, Anita's Theatre, Thrull, Saturday night, the 14th of March. Um, it's going to be fantastic. I had an absolute blast being there last time. You guys were so incredibly supportive. It was amazing to debut my show um, to you guys in the audience that joined me that night. So I'm coming back there, Anita's Theatre Thrall on Saturday the 15th of March. Now, tickets for the Anita's Theatre show go on sale tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. tickets go on sale for Anita's Theatre, Kings of the Keys, 15th of March, 2020. So just to recap that, Anita's Theatre in Thrall, Kings of the Keys, back again, grand piano, six-piece band, massive stage, all those hits, Billy Joel, Elton John, Prince, Queen, Beatles, one hit wonders like Walking in Memphis, The Way It Is, A Thousand Miles, Drops of Jupiter, that epic, epic guitar medley, jump, take on me, final countdown, Bohemian Rhapsody, oh my goodness, epic, right? Epic, epic playlist. So all of those songs uh, live again at Anita's Theatre. Just to recap, tickets for Anita's Theatre show go on sale tomorrow morning, Wednesday, um, at 9am for my Ticketmaster members, and then on sale for anyone and everyone else on Friday. So that's a lot to remember. I know basically the two things I need to tell you are firstly, head to the website, kingsofthekeys.com. That's kings plural, because sometimes I get king of the keys. Uh, but it's kings of the keys, kings of the keys.com. If you head there, the dates for all three shows are up there right now. Guys, this is a massive deal. Uh, big deal for me. This is a brand new show. Obviously on land, it's only been staged once, even though I've done it like 10, 15, 20 more times out on the ocean. But on land, uh, I've only done it once. So the idea is that once we get these shows selling um, and people get really excited about it, we move some tickets, then we'll get a whole bunch of other RSL leagues clubs in Sydney excited and on board. And hopefully, fingers crossed, um, we'll be able to do another run of dates, maybe towards the end of the year, maybe another two, three, four, five dates um, in Sydney RSL clubs, or even a bit further north, 
northern New South Wales or a bit further inland. Hopefully, we'd love to head down to Canberra um, or far south coast would be amazing. So it's just super important that I get these first three shows um, selling really well and uh, hopefully we'll get into some more Lee's Clubs as we go. So just three shows to start off with, um, which is super, super exciting. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Head over to kingsofthekeys.com. Three shows, DY, Hornsby, Anita's Theatre. All the dates are on the website. All the ticket links are on the website kingsofthekeys.com. We'd love you to sign up to the email database. Um, there's a little sign up field on the Kings of the Keys website. I promise I won't spam you. I'll just let you know when things are happening. Because um, we've got three shows announced, which is absolutely rad. Will the show be different from last time? It will be a little bit different. I have been so lucky to perform a bunch of different um, kind of variations of the show on 10 different cruise ships in the last nine months. So that's been really exciting for me to test out the arrangements of the songs, um, which songs work well together, which stories uh, people are loving, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So uh, although the shows will have kind of similar material, obviously they'll have all that great music from Billy Joel, Elton John, Prince, Beatles, Queen, um, One Heat Wonders Like Walking in Memphis, The Way It Is, A Thousand Miles, uh, The Keytar Medley, um, Final Countdown, Take On Me, and, um, oh, what was the other one? Jump, 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 jump. Um, so, so many great, great songs in there. Um, but, you know, I'm going to keep it fresh, and I'm going to keep you on your toes. You're definitely not going to walk in and see the same show that you saw last time. So, if you joined me at Anita's Theatre, would love you to come back. It's going to be a fantastic night. Um, if you came last time to the Anita's Theatre show, then I would love you to tell other people about it. If you have friends, family who love that kind of music, would love you to spread the word and get them to come along. Obviously, Christmas is coming up, so this is the ideal Christmas gift for your parents or your friends or your family, whoever. Uh, would make a great Christmas gift. So much amazing music. Um, so I really hope that uh, that you guys get in and support it. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, mm -mm -mm, it will be a great show. What have I been doing since the show premiered? So I premiered the show in August 2018 um, at Anita's Theatre. Basically, it's a show that celebrates the music of all these incredible piano rock and roll legends, right? We're talking Billy, Elton, Queen, Prince, Beatles, everyone. Uh, and the thing that I love doing in this show is sharing the stories about why uh, why the song was written, who wrote it, what the inspiration was. Hey Dylan, how are you? Um, and so that's what makes a huge difference, right? A lot of people don't know that Paul wrote, Paul McCartney wrote Let It Be um, about his mother Mary who came to him in a dream one night speaking words of wisdom when he was going through this really rough time in his life. Um, and so I love being able to tell that story, for example, and then you get to hear the song as if you're hearing it for the very first time because you now understand where he was coming from and where the, where the words came from. So uh, that's what I love, 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 love doing is telling the stories about the music that I play. Um, and so since I premiered that show in August 2018, I made a, a promo video out of it um, and a press kit, which is basically a whole lot of photos and video content. And I shared that with a couple of cruise ship entertainment booking agencies in the US. And I'm now represented by an agency called Barry Ball Artists. And they're based in Florida. Uh, and they work with all of the major cruise lines, Royal Caribbean, Celebrity Cruises, um, Holland America, Princess, uh, Seaborn, and a bunch of others. And I've been able to get on and perform Kings of the Keys in a bunch of different formats. When I get on the ship, I just do a 45 minute show, one 45 minute show. So it's not a kind of two and a half hour big show with an interval. It's short, sharp, snappy. So I've been able to test different songs, shorten songs, create some more medleys, all that kind of thing which has been amazing, and test that with a bunch of different audiences, um, which has been a lot of fun. So I've basically been cruising, literally, um, since the show premiered 
in August 2018, been taking this show, Kings of the Keys, and sharing it with the amazing, amazing guests on a bunch of different cruise lines. Um, I've just come back from Bora Bora, which uh, I've vlogged. So if you haven't seen episode one of the vlog, jump onto YouTube, it's there. Uh, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, on Friday, I'm leaving for New Zealand, doing five days on the Celebrity Solstice ship um, in New Zealand, which will be wonderful. And then I've got a couple of cruises on the Royal Caribbean ship, Ovation of the Seas, out of Sydney throughout December, which is a lot of fun. Um, but this year, though, I've been to um, Tahiti four times. Uh, I've been to San Francisco, San Diego, Mexico, Shanghai, Hong Kong, the Philippines, Japan, South Korea, um, New Zealand, of course, Hawaii, um, a couple of other French Polynesia islands, which has just been like, oh my goodness, like that is mental. If you told me last year that I'd be doing that this year, I would not have believed you for a second. Um, so that's about it. That's about it, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm going to wrap it up. We've got four of you left on Facebook, three of you left on the gram. So I think you're well and truly tuned out, which is totally fine. It's been so good hanging out with you. This has been a lot of fun. Um, feel free to leave a comment on either of the posts. Um, share the news with people. I really, really appreciate your support. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining me. Now I need to work out how to end these live streams really smoothly. They both have end buttons. That's great. I can see them. All right. Instagram, good night. Thank you so much. See ya. Are you sure that you want to end the live video? Yes, I do. Instagram, good night. End now. Great, that's it. Oh, 65 viewers. Share the story. Yes, please. Oh, amazing. We have 65 people join me on Instagram tonight. That's fantastic. Um, 60 left on Facebook. That's all from me. Thank you again for joining me tonight. Kings of the Keys, three shows, 2020, kingsofthekeys.com. If you want to watch this video again, it'll be on my Facebook shortly. Don't know why you want to do that, but you get the message. Um, thank you. Have a good night. See ya.